Hey, in this video, you're going to learn about forms in Ruby on Rails, how they work and exactly how you can use them to create beautiful forms for your Ruby applications. So let's talk specifically about this form form method, because this is a method, we can look it up, we can find it in the Ruby on Rails documentation. So here it is. Um, form form and it says that it creates a form that allows the user to create or update the attributes of a specific model object. Okay, so that's the description and you can come here to the Rails documentation whenever you have a Rails method that you're not familiar with, you can get a description and some examples of how it works. So form form you will see that it takes a few arguments and the first argument is going to be the model, the model that you are working with. In this case, because it's an application about cats, the model is a cat, of course. And the cat has attributes. It has attributes like name, color, age, right? I can pick any other cat. As you will see, you see it has different attributes that we can use and that's what we have on the form, right? We want to be able to change the name and to change the age, change the image. All of, the, all of this is done through a form and we can create these forms very easily thanks to form 4. So we have the particular cut that comes from the controller and then we have some optional arguments for this form for method. And these arguments are things like HTML, where we can define HTML um, classes and style so we can have a nicer looking form. So next, what do we have? We have this block. So if you're not familiar with blocks, then you need to go back to your Ruby ba basics. That's why it's often recommended to learn Ruby basics before you learn Rails because then this will make more sense. So we have this block. Blocks can have arguments. Uh, the argument can be an invalid Ruby variable name. So it can be form, can also be F, right? Do we often see F in some code? And then when you change this to F, of course, all of these also have to change. So this, the, na the name that you choose it doesn't really matter as long as it's a val valid variable name and it has some meaning. I often recommend that it has some meaning. In this case, form, we know what a form is. That's what we are trying to create here. So what is this specifically? Well, in Ruby, you always work with objects and we can find out what kind of object this is using a little trick here. So pay attention here because you might not have seen this never before. And it's a method called debug. And the way you use it is you pass it a object, which form is an object. And we can see the class for that object use it like this with a class method. Now with this, and don't forget your equal sign so we can see the output. And remember to save the file. We can reload and we see Ruby class. And then this is the name of the class, which is Action View Helpers Form Builder. So this is the important part. We're working with a form builder object. So that's what this form is. It's a form builder. What is it for? It's for building forms, right? <laughs> the name I think is pretty good here. We use the form builder to build form. But how does it work? How do we build these forms? Oops, and that's very important to understand because we take this form builder object and then we create use form elements. So what are the form elements? The form elements is what you can see in this page. So let me save here. Is the input uh, boxes? Is this numbers? right is the file browser all of these are the form elements the pattern 
the, this button is also a form element. So we create a form elements using methods that are defining, uh, defined on this class. And these methods are methods like label and text field and number field and file field and submit. So these methods we translate into the HTML that creates these fields. Okay. Another thing that's helpful for the form field, I mean the form builder, is that it's associated with your model. Right? So this form builder knows that you have this attribute. So now when we create the text field or the number field and you submit it because we gave these the attribute names, then it will update correctly in the database. Right? So it's doing a lot of work for you in here. And you can explore this more how this works if you go to inspect element, right? So you can right click one of the form fields, go to inspect element, and you will see this name that says cat name that's automatically created for you with Rails. Oh, another very important thing that you notice that the form builder does for you is prefill these values, these input fields, with the values that you already have. So if I create a new cut, this, this is empty. Everything is empty, right? But if I want to edit or update an existing cut, this is pretty easy because input boxes, these text fields and number fields with the current values that exist on the database on this specific model, okay? So as you can see, form field, this F or form, does a lot of work for you. And I know that's a lot of information, but I gave you a good overview. You can watch this video again if you need to. And the last thing I want to mention here is something that a lot of people might find confusing is the remote true. And just because the last thing doesn't mean it's the least important. Okay, so keep watching. And by the way, if you enjoy these videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button and clicking the notification bell. That we let you know and notify you when new videos are released so you, you don't miss out on new videos. And if you have any feedback, or questions, please put it in the comments below this video because I want your feedback to improve and to create better videos for you. Okay, so let's take a look at remote true looks like this. What does this do? Well, it enables Ajax. Ajax. Okay, what's that? Well, it's a browser technology that allows to send the changes that you make without having to reload the page. So normally when I click uh, my button here, it will reload the full page, right? It will send the changes and then it will reload the page. That's what happens during a normal um, form submission. Right, but if I enable remote true, that changes because instead of sending of reloading the page completely, what happens is that, and we can see it, if I make a change here and I send the changes, you will notice that it says cows. I think it's different in Chrome, in Chrome this is type. I think I says X H R X H R. Can you see that? Maybe it's too small. Um, okay. But what does that mean? It, that's another, basically that's another name for Ajax. Ajax is how we send the changes to the server 
with JavaScript, basically. And what happens, here is where the difference is. The page, let's, let's see, um, here, this part. Uh, if I could make it bigger for you, I would, I would, but that's what we have. So this was coming back from Rails as a result of this JavaScript request. And uh, what happens is we get this and it uses TurboLinks, which is a JavaScript part of Rails. It comes built into Rails and we replace the contents of the site without reloading the page. So that's more efficient, that's faster than having to do a full reload of the page, okay? So that's why this H, sorry, XHR um, request with remote true is helpful. It's just that, it's not more complicated than that. It's just that instead of full, doing a full reload, reload of the page, we're only replacing the contents of the page. So that's a little bit more performant, faster. Okay, so I hope that helps if you had questions about what Remote True is. Uh, all of this happens automatically for you as long as you define Remote True. There is also another way to create forms, which is, and we could say newer because it, it was added more recently, and it's called Form With. And I believe the main difference is that it has remote true by default, basically. And the, the way you use it is slightly different. It's the same idea, right? It allows you to create a form with fields, number fields, and buttons, and all of this stuff. Only that, by default, it has remote true enabled. And it has a slightly different way to specify these arguments. So if you're interested in that, you can, again, use the documentation and search for how the arguments work, okay? But form form is just fine. As far as I know, it's not going to be deprecated or, or fall out of favor, at least for now. If you know differently, let me know in the comments. So that's it. That's how you create forms in Rails. It's very easily AC, you see. Um, there is an, another way using a gem called simple form. So you might see, see something like this simple form. It, this is a gem. If you see, if you find this, this is a Ruby gem that you can install. And it's similar to this, but it allows you to create a form with typing less, but you don't really need simple form. If you understand how form or form for uh, works, okay? So that's it for this video. I hope you found this helpful and interesting. If you did, please click the like button for me so I know that you like it. Also, please give me some feedback on the comments. Let me know uh, if you're enjoying this so I can keep making more and better content for you and for your learning and improvement as a Ruby developer. You can also watch more of more videos like this on this very channel, have over 100, I think over 200 videos you can watch right now. So you can spend days watching videos and learning, but also practice, very important that you don't only watch videos or only read books and articles, but you also want to practice these things create new applications, create new applications and practice and try different things. And don't be afraid to make mistakes because that's fine. And if you get error messages, that's also fine, right? Don't be afraid of these things. Just try and play with it and learn, okay? And keep learning and practicing and reading all of these things. And finally, you might also want to visit my website, 
rubyguides.com rubyguides.com in there you will find my newsletter my ruby book and many ruby guides to help you become a professional ruby developer thanks a lot for watching take care of yourself and i will see you in the next video